Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Mortal Kombat Deception for the Sony PlayStation 2, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this follows up after the events of Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance, a Let's Play I did sometime last year. I think it was last year. But anyways, I didn't do the conquest mode of that game because it was strictly a tutorial mode, and that's pretty much all it was. It was not by chance that this trouble came to be. The blame falls squarely upon my shoulders for giving evil the chance it needed, and therefore fulfilling an ancient prophecy. Let me turn up a bit. Raiden's Earthrealm champions had failed to stop the deadly alliance from fully resurrecting the mummified army of the Dragon King. In the end, only Raiden himself stood between Earthrealm and total destruction. Defying the Elder God's wishes, he alone challenged Quan Chi and Shang Tsung in mortal combat. Earthrealm's last hope for freedom. Yeah, obviously that's not gonna go well. Well, like I said, it follows up after Deadly Alliance, where the bad guys actually were victorious, unlike any other Mortal Kombat game where the good guys were canonically victorious. This actually takes a different turn. I always notice that in this uh, cinematic that Shang Tsung does look like uh, Castlevania Lord of Shadows Gabriel Belmont. They look so similar to each other. With like the red outfit and the long black hair. Souls get into my hand and it smells nice and shoot him, yeah. Do that. Raiden fought well against the two sorcerers, and it seemed as though victory was at hand. But the combined might of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung proved to be overwhelming, even for a Thunder God. Good daughter! Raiden was defeated. The Deadly Alliance had won. Oh, my contacts ran out of batteries. Hey, dibs on the hat. Their victory was short lived. As suspicion and lust for power overcame both Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, the former allies turned on each other. The deadly alliance was no more. I don't think Shang Tsung is after Quan Chi's balls, but rather that amulet, of course. Which, if you have the amulet, you can control the Dragon King's army. Quan Chi defeated Shang Tsung and reveled in his conquest. But it is said that there is only one true ruler of Outworld. And we all thought it was Shao Kahn. And that ruler had returned. Onaga, former emperor of Outworld, the Dragon King. The prophecy had been fulfilled. The Dragon King had indeed returned to Outworld to reclaim his army and impose his dominance. Well, that's not gonna work. All who stood in his way. I know I coughed up blood, but you know what? I'm gonna join you again. So nobody gets my hat on me. And so it was. Was formed out of desperation. Sworn enemies join forces to combat a greater threat. Only to fail miserably. Raiden began to realize that even their combined might was not enough to defeat the Dragon King. There was 
was only one chance left. Raiden's sacrifice was in vain, for the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. Now Onaga has what he needs to shape the realms as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat, born of deception. Which is why this game is called Mortal Kombat Deception. Anyways, this was narrated by the main character, Shujinko, who you're going to be playing as in Conquest Mode. Remember, I didn't do Deadly Alliance's Conquest because they're strictly tutorials. However, in Deception, there actually is a single-player mode that has some tutorials, but you're actually moving around quite a bit. So, let's get started. So, this is going to tell the story of Shujinko growing up until he became an old man. Yep, so this is the single player mode. After this, I will show off the other modes, not just the arcade, but the chess combat and the puzzle combat. I won't be doing any online matches because I'm pretty sure those servers have long since been shut down. <laughs> We fight with our voices! Shang Tsung, I will win the Mortal Kombat tournament and free Earthrealm from your tyranny. I shook my head. So, then it seems I will need a stronger opponent to defeat the great Kung Lao. Goro, fight! Goro was actually two people stuck on each other. Did he really have another hand head for a crutch? As they stare in each other's four eyes and stuff. Uh, recess was fun. What? Well, that guy should have started training a bit more. The gut on him. I always remember to block. I'm pretty sure he was talking about me. The master is always faster. The master is always faster, eh? Well, only one way to find out to see how fast he is. Eventually. Or how fat. You have arrived! Let us begin. Yes, Master Bo Raicho is the master here in Earthrealm. You have a long way to go, but every step is a victory. Oh, you stepped to the fridge. How you maneuver in combat plays as much a part of your strategy as how you punch or kick. Dog tapping forward or away from your opponent. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta practice this at least three times. Yeah, just step away. And then step forward, and there you go. Nice. Yeah, most of the tutorials are actually very simple. Offensive, this is always the correct path to victory. A hasty retreat can give you the space you need to plan your next attack. Alright, let's try some moves I'll probably never be using in combat. I gotta use three backward dashes. Just double tap backward. And there you go. Oi! It won't help against range attacks, so they go straight at ya. Okay, he's trying to strike him once. Four different basic attacks. There, just use any of the uh, square, triangle, X, or circle buttons. Or, you know, the alphabetical buttons if you're playing this on an Xbox. Or GameCube. If you're playing the GameCube version, you would have two other characters unlocked right from the start. Pressing towards your opponent while attacking, yeah. With each of your high punch attacks. That's that one pretty cool, it inflicts stun. You like, you have different types of moves, and you should definitely take advantage of them by pressing pause and going into your move list. Attack variations can be executed by combining the directional buttons and an attack button. 
Okay, in this Mantify style, the X button will initiate and attack your opponent's chest. However, by holding away an X, you will attack your opponent's knees. Alright, let's try that. Oh, very nice. Get used to these tutorials, you'll be seeing them a lot, executed by different characters. Two high attacks and two low attacks, alright. There. Uh, hi to you too. And by completing missions, you'll get different color coins that you can be spending in the crypt to buy other unlockables. Bigger unlockables, or that cost like a lot of coins, tend to be characters. Though there are other ways you can unlock characters as well, just by, you know, finding chests. To open a chest, I believe you... Well, what button do you... No, not circle. That's your meditate. Triangle is your inventory. And R1 is your map, so Kamadogus are important figures that you won't have to worry about yet. Circle, that green circle there is your mission. How the hell do you open shit? Oh yeah, you were at just supposed to press X. Okay, so you get a crib key. Certain things you find in the crypt, you can only find keys for chests. In this case, I unlock Scorpion's alternate costume, which is actually pretty cool. You can talk to people by pressing X. Hello, young man. Are you looking for Master Bo Raicho? No, I'm just here to punch you in the back. Don't worry, they eventually get up. Sometimes you actually have to attack people to get certain cutscenes. This door is locked. Okay. Oh, hello, Shujinko. I lost the key to my house when we were playing Mortal Kombat earlier. If you see my key, please bring it to me. My parents will kill me if someone uses my key to rob our house. Or, you know... Maybe they'll actually steal the weapons and you won't get killed. You never know. You could get lucky. Alright, so we'll just keep looking around for collectibles here. I will try to find them all, however, I can't guarantee that I'll do all the missions. Some of them can be time sensitive, therefore I may be unlucky enough to miss them. But I will try to get all the keys that unlock all the items. Oh yeah, I already checked on this door. Uh, I suppose I should go to this mission right now. I'm trying to talk to you, but God. Hi, you must be Shujinko, the one Master Bo Raicho mentioned. I've seen you around before. You and your friends are always pretending to be famous warriors in that park over there. Yeah, My pretending. Name is Master Bo Raicho asked me to show you the other schools where he teaches martial arts. Follow me. Okay, I will follow you, but first let's talk to more people. I think I picked up some coins by accident. Well, I guess there are good accidents. Hi, are you going to take lessons from Master Bo Raicho? Isn't your name Shujinko? I have heard of you. Uh, yeah, I am very famous. Hello there. You are Shujinko, yes? I have heard my students speaking of you. I am Hopefully teaching good things. These young ones the basics of combat, but I think you will learn much more from Master Bo Raicho. Can you learn about this? You need to respect your elders. You're not that old. Come on now. Oh. Yeah, can I talk to you, please? What do you want, Shujinko? Have you seen a group of boys recently? They were here not too long ago. I have, uh, unfinished business with them. Oh, hello, Meko. I'm not sure where everyone went. I've been busy training with Master Boraicho. If I see them, I will let them know you are looking for them. Well, goodbye for now. I will talk to you soon, Shujinko. Uh, are those kids running away from you because they're afraid you're gonna eat them? Man, look at the gut on him. Is he eating his own hair? Maybe that explains why he's bald. So, I will punch you. I mean, sometimes if you punch people, they will punch you back, but you're not gonna get hurt from it. Oh, you're the one looking for the key. I am practicing ninjutsu, the art of stealth. Watch me disappear. You will never find me. Find the hiding boy. I, I bet you I'll find him. Who knows? He might be somewhere around here. 
I suppose this mission I could do. Where is he, anyway? He's not near Miko. You won't be getting any guides on where you can find these missions, and you won't be able to find out where the objectives are. You gotta find them yourself. It's not gonna be as cut and dry as just holding your hand all the time. You gotta find this stuff out yourself. And time does flow naturally. Eh, maybe I'll find him on the way. But for now, I suppose I'll just continue on. What do you want, Shujinko? I cannot find my brother. If you find him, tell him I am looking for him. My brother is lazy and needs to do his chores. I am not going to do his chores for him. Then why don't you go look for him yourself? Now he's lazy. Here it is. This is another of Master Boracho's classrooms. I think he's starting another lesson right now. You should go inside. I will wait for you out here. Okay. I'll go in and do it. And of course, yeah, like I said before, I think I said before, you just gotta press X to a door. And that's how you go in. So, let's do some more training! These loading screens are not very bad. Every warrior has the potential to effortlessly link his or her moves in one long attack combination. Oh, I gotta do combos. Press square and square in rapid succession. Okay. There we go. And they show you your damage meter as well. well at least they tell you what the combos are. You just gotta pull them off. Full combo moves. Okay. Oops. I find it's much better to actually just press the buttons and... Like, don't rush it. Okay, for some reason that one's not working. Oh, it works now. Funny, I was doing it a couple times and it wouldn't register. Oh, power attack. They do more damage and they can knock your opponent backwards. Okay. So, let's perform a couple. That one's cool. That one's really awesome. That one allows you to sidestep. And an uppercut. Okay, pop-up attacks, which allow you to use combos when they actually land right next to you. Okay, your opponent cannot block while being popped in the air. That allows you to take advantage of that. Alright, so... There we go. When you see that meter below their health flash blue, that means they're in the air, and you're allowed to use combos on them, and they won't be able to block. Okay, do juggling. Like that. Get used to these combos, because you're going to be using them a lot in actual combat. You're not going to be, be able to win on simple combos. Just get some cheap blows, especially when they're in critical, and that will avoid some nasty comebacks being used against you. You didn't watch! I hate you for that! You are finished. Come on, let's go to the next class. Oh, what's this? Whatever it is, it knocked me out. <laughs> Two days later. Really? Shujinko, you are awake. I was worried about you. Do you realize you were out cold for two days? From now on, you should be careful not to pick up everything you see, okay? Yeah, whoever thought meth question marks were such a thing? Hey. You, I want to talk to you. Hey, Mr. You Clean. Smart, young man. You would not venture past the gates. I never have. Ow! Did that help? <laughs> All right, so let's look. At, ooh, emerald coins. Of course, the more coins you get, the more stuff you can buy in the crypt. It's always a good idea to find as many coins as you can. Sometimes you'll find them in chests. Sometimes you'll find them just by completing missions. I once spied on the Dinquay clan. Their Grand Master has the ability to freeze. Wow. What else do you know about the Lin Kuei? I have also heard that they train Lin Kuei warriors just outside the village. If you ever venture past the gates, check to the southeast. Ah, uh, southeast, eh? I'll check that out for later. Hello there, Shu Jinko. How are you doing today? Um, doing okay. I'm just gonna go in this building. Oh, I can't. It's locked. 
Hope you don't mind if I step on your wares. Greetings, Shujenko. How are you on this beautiful day? Uh, this day is almost over. Hey, hey, can I talk to you, please? You do not look like you have money to buy anything. Oh, excuse me? You do not look like you have any teeth left after that. The gods take a dim view of senseless violence. I don't know. The Elder Gods watch Mortal Kombat all the time. Oh, Bo Raicho Puzzle Fighter. Nice. Hello there, young man. Would you like to buy anything? Uh, no. I would like to punch you in the face for no reason, eventually. Chujinko, can you help me? I ate some bad kimchi, and I feel very ill. Okay, find medicine for the sick boy before 8 p.m. Oh, I got a lot of time, apparently! Jeez! Where the hell am I gonna find a doctor? Oh, yeah, I, I know how to meditate, but I'll do that later. I gotta find a doctor! Hey, do you see that guy down there? I have been spying on him. I think he is a Lin Kuei warrior. I wonder what he is doing. Uh, ask him, and then maybe he won't punch you out. What do you want? I do not have time for foolish chatter. I have been instructed to search for able men and women to increase the ranks of my clan. You cannot possibly possess skills worthy of a Lin Kuei warrior. I don't know, I can punch you in the face! And... Get that happen to me. How's that? Yeah, I took down the chin. Do you know many other Lin Kuei warriors that can do that, huh? Oh, the portal arena. Awesome. Of course, you don't unlock it right away. You still gotta, like, unlock it in the crypt. Greetings, young man. If you have come for the auction, please step inside. Auction, eh? Oh, it's closed. You tell me to step inside. Oh, it's closed. Oh, thanks. Well, I can step in here. I'm probably not gonna be able to find that medicine. I find that was a very horrible time to trigger that mission because it was always like right away. Here it is. Master Bo Raicho says you are interested in becoming a real warrior. If As opposed to a to fake best, one. You will have to train hard. It is not easy, but it is worth go inside to watch the next lesson. I will wait for you. I always find that the dialogue can sometimes be a bit floaty. <sighs> They tell me to come in. Oh, it's late. I gotta come between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. That really helps. Thanks. I gotta meditate and wait for the time to actually be available for us. Eh, I'll just pick up some extra coins. Probably gonna end the episode very shortly. So we'll do that. Once I explore a little bit. Sometimes it does get a bit dark, but you actually trigger certain missions during certain times. You shall not pass. Oh, hey Gandalf, how's it going? You really let yourself go and turn Asian for some reason. Not that it's a bad thing. Oh, it's not locked. The door was plainly open. Sometimes you find brown chests and they just have coins. Nothing special about them, but money is awesome. Oh, you must be the hey, brother. Wake up. Your brother is looking for you. <sighs> huh? What? I better get home to do my chores. Yeah, you've been out for like two days, man. Okay, I think there was an option to run as well. I don't remember what it is. No, not that. Oh yeah, R2, that's what you press to actually dash. Awesome. And time does not go any faster, so you can actually go at a pretty good pace. What? Why the hell are you asleep? What the hell happened to you? Oh, that's that kid that ate the bad kimchi. Yeah, I didn't think he'd die. Thank you for waking me up. Take this ninja star I found as a reward. I find sometimes you'll get these items that actually don't have any use at all. So anyways, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're... Hopefully it'll be daytime, and we can continue our mission. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.